College to take over. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I sincerely welcome you all. In the morning, we had the Maritime Security Symposium. Now, as you can see here on the screen, we'd like to think uh, Imperial Navy's traditions and carrying on these traditions and uh, the identity of uh, the self-defense, maritime self-defense force based on the keynote address that has just been delivered by Mr. Seng Genshitsu together with uh, our distinguished uh, speakers. The time is rather limited, but I'm very pleased to have this session. I'm going to serve as the moderator today. My name is Fukumoto. I'm very pleased uh, to see you all today. Uh, today, we are very pleased to have uh, invited guests as well as uh, the uh, about 20 member of the public who uh, they applied uh, uh, to join. Would you please raise your hand? Thank you very much indeed. So as you can see in the afternoon, this program is open to the member of the public so that the not only we experts but also the member of the public uh, are invited uh, to think of uh, the tradition and identity of the self-defense forces and uh, the uh, imperial navies. My experience is uh, limited in comparison with uh, the uh, other uh, the formal uh, officers. Up to uh, August uh, last year, I was uh, the predecessor of uh, the Admiral Otsuka, President of the Maritime Self-Defense Force Command and Staff College. In fact, the immediately after the Second World War, the, the Admiral uh, Nakayama, uh, the first uh, the president of this uh, the college, said the uh, Admiral Ihara of the uh, chief of uh, the maritime staff saying that uh, the Imperial Army performed very well up to the Russo-Japanese War, but uh, the, since then the performance was uh, miserable. So the Imperial Staff uh, College educated such terrible leaders. So the track record was really bad. So the failure is the mark, F mark should be given. So these uh, former teachers must not take the leading position anymore, including you, even though you are the chief of the maritime staff. That's the comment that was uh, uh, made by the first president of the maritime staff college after the Second World War. And uh, the, uh, I was instructed to read deeply this uh, sentence uh, by my predecessor. And the uh, minesweeping force, uh, as the longest tradition uh, in the maritime self-defense force, and already in 1945, uh, August 1945, the uh, American forces uh, they instructed uh, the uh, mine clearance operations. And uh, the, even though the name of the organization uh, changed, uh, the, uh, or the uh, Department of the uh, Demobilization, Department of the uh, Maritime Security Force, and uh, the Maritime Self-Defense Force, even though names changed, the uh, former core officers uh, performed the uh, mine clearing operations uh, without uh, the uh, breaks. And that was also an important part of our tradition. So a small uh, the mine sweeping boats uh, carried such heavy weight of traditions 
And so the what needs to be changed and what must not change have to be identified. At the beginning, uh, the, uh, Mr. Admiral Ozuka said in his opening address that in the 70th year since the end of the Second World War, uh, many programs and events have been organized uh, this year, uh, the looking back the history. And even though the every 10 years uh, such events uh, were repeated in the past, this is the, perhaps the last opportunity for us uh, to directly uh, listen to uh, those uh, people who experienced the Second World War in person. And this is not true. It is true not only to Japan, but also to the Western nations as well as uh, the Asian countries. Uh, in the past, uh, we organized the Maritime Security Symposium at the time of the fleet review every three years. Of course, uh, we mostly focused upon the Maritime Self-Defense Force missions and the role of our force. And uh, we also wanted to uh, communicate our missions and roles to the uh, communities outside of the organization. This year, we focused upon people or personnel uh, so that uh, traditions and identity and the organizational culture and the framework of uh, the Maritime Self-Defense Force of Japan. We are on the front line for the defense of the country. And uh, the day and night uh, our personnel are working hard. And uh, we'd like to uh, uh, make uh, public uh, the, what uh, our officers and sailors are working uh, day and night so that uh, we want to have a better understanding and uh, the stronger support from the public to us. We are very pleased uh, to have distinguished uh, the, uh, panelists and uh, the, uh, we are very honored to have uh, the uh, wonderful uh, keynote speech. And uh, the, we first invite uh, Professor Tokuoka, the pres uh, the, of uh, the Taka, uh, Tama University, uh, for the o organizational uh, cultural uh, discussion. Thank you.